Picture this. You're standing at the base of a majestic mountain, ready to embark on a transformative journey. As you take your first steps, you feel the weight of old habits and limiting beliefs holding you back, like heavy stones in your backpack. But what if I told you that you have the power to lighten your load and reach new heights of personal growth and fulfillment? In this video, we'll explore 10 mindset habits that are holding you back from embodying the stoic virtues of courage, justice, temperance, and wisdom. But here's the twist. We'll be delving into the realm of anti-stoic behaviors, those sneaky thought patterns and actions that keep us stuck in a cycle of frustration and discontent. By understanding and eliminating these habits, you'll be able to tap into the transformative power of Stoicism and cultivate a mindset that is grounded, purposeful, and unshakable. So, are you ready to take the first step on this exhilarating journey of self-discovery? Grab your hiking boots and let's get started. But wait, before we embark on this adventure, I have a question for you. What if I told you that by subscribing to this channel, you're not just gaining access to a wealth of knowledge and inspiration, but you're also joining a community of like-minded individuals who are committed to personal growth and living a life of meaning and purpose. So don't hesitate. Join us on this transformative journey and let's unlock our full potential together. 1. Seeking Constant Validation Let's dive into the first anti-Stoic behavior that may be sabotaging your personal growth, seeking constant validation from others. Picture this scenario. You've just accomplished a significant milestone, like nailing a presentation at work or reaching a fitness goal. But instead of basking in the glow of your own achievement, you find yourself refreshing your social media feeds, eagerly awaiting likes, comments, and praise from others. Sound familiar? In today's interconnected world, it's all too easy to fall into the trap of seeking external validation, tying our self-worth to the opinions of others. But the Stoics knew better. They understood that true fulfillment and self-esteem come from within, not from the fleeting approval of others. Epictetus, one of the great Stoic philosophers, once said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. In other words, we can't control what others think of us, but we can control our own thoughts, actions, and reactions. By cultivating self-reliance and inner peace, we free ourselves from the exhausting cycle of seeking validation and start living life on our own terms. But how can we break free from this anti-Stoic habit? Start by practicing self-reflection and introspection. Take time each day to acknowledge your own strengths, values and accomplishments, independent of external feedback. Surround yourself with people who support and encourage your personal growth, rather than those who constantly judge or criticize. And remember, progress is more important than perfection. Celebrate your own efforts and improvements, regardless of whether others notice or approve. As we continue our journey through the mountains of personal growth, we'll encounter more obstacles and challenges along the way. But by shedding the weight of external validation and cultivating inner strength, we'll be better equipped to face whatever lies ahead. So, take a deep breath, trust in yourself, and keep climbing. The view from the top will be worth it. But the journey doesn't stop here. In the next section, we'll explore another anti-Stoic behavior that may be holding you back, complaining about things beyond your control. Get ready to discover the power of focusing on what you can change and letting go of what you can't. The path to true resilience and contentment awaits. 2. Complaining about the uncontrollable have you ever found yourself trapped in a vicious cycle of complaining about things beyond your control? Maybe it's the weather ruining your weekend plans or the traffic making you late for work. 
It's easy to fall into the habit of focusing on these external annoyances, but the Stoics knew that this mindset only leads to frustration and unhappiness. The great Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This simple yet profound truth lies at the heart of Stoic wisdom. By shifting our focus from what we can't control to what we can, we take back our power and cultivate a more resilient, proactive mindset. So, how can we break free from the anti-Stoic habit of complaining about the uncontrollable? Start by practicing acceptance. Acknowledge that there will always be circumstances beyond your control, and instead of resisting them, embrace them as opportunities for growth and learning. Next, focus on solutions rather than problems. When faced with a challenge, ask yourself, what can I do to improve this situation? By taking action, no matter how small, you'll feel more empowered and less helpless. Remember, every obstacle we face in life is an opportunity to strengthen our character and develop our inner resources. By letting go of complaints and focusing on what we can change, we open ourselves up to a world of possibility and growth. 3. Dwelling on past and future. Picture this. You're on a beautiful hike through the mountains, surrounded by stunning vistas and fresh air. But instead of enjoying the present moment, your mind is stuck in the past, rehashing old mistakes and regrets, or anxiously racing ahead to the future, worrying about what might go wrong. Sound familiar? Dwelling on the past and future is a common anti-Stoic habit that can rob us of our peace and happiness in the present. The Stoics knew that the only moment we truly have is the one we're in right now, and that by learning to live fully in the present, we can find a deep sense of contentment and purpose. Seneca, another great Stoic thinker, once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present, without anxious dependence upon the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient. By cultivating mindfulness and letting go of regrets and worries, we free ourselves to appreciate the richness and beauty of each moment as it unfolds. So, how can we break free from the anti-Stoic habit of dwelling on the past and future? Start by practicing gratitude for what you have right now. Take time each day to savor the simple joys and pleasures of life, from a warm cup of coffee to a heartfelt conversation with a friend. Next, develop a daily mindfulness practice, whether it's meditation, deep breathing, or simply paying attention to your senses. By training your mind to stay present, you'll find it easier to let go of past regrets and future worries. Remember, life is a precious gift, and each moment is an opportunity to explore, discover, and grow. By embracing the present and letting go of what we can't change, we open ourselves up to a world of beauty, wonder, and endless possibilities. 4. Pursuing external wealth and status. In today's fast-paced materialistic world, it's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of external wealth and status. We're bombarded with messages telling us that happiness lies in the next promotion, the bigger house, or the latest gadget. But the Stoics knew better. They understood that true fulfillment comes from within, not from the fleeting pleasures of external success. Epictetus once said, Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. This simple yet profound truth strikes at the heart of Stoic wisdom. By cultivating inner contentment and character, we free ourselves from the endless cycle of wanting and striving and find a deep sense of peace and purpose. So, how can we break free from the anti-Stoic habit of pursuing external wealth and status? Start by examining your values and priorities. Ask yourself, what truly matters to me? What brings me a sense of meaning 
and fulfillment. Next, practice gratitude for the simple joys and pleasures of life, from a beautiful sunset to a heartfelt conversation with a loved one. By focusing on what you already have, rather than what you lack, you'll find it easier to let go of the constant desire for more. Remember, true wealth lies not in material possessions, but in the richness of our relationships, experiences, and inner lives. By cultivating virtue and character, we open ourselves up to a world of abundance and joy that no amount of external success can match. 5. Reacting emotionally to challenges Picture this. You're hiking up a steep trail and suddenly you encounter a massive boulder blocking your path. You have two choices. You can either react with frustration and anger, cursing the obstacle and giving up, or you can take a deep breath, assess the situation calmly and find a way to overcome the challenge. In life, we're constantly faced with obstacles and setbacks, from minor annoyances to major crises. How we respond to these challenges can make all the difference in our happiness, success and personal growth. The Stoics knew this well, and they developed a powerful set of tools for cultivating resilience and rational thinking in the face of adversity. Marcus Aurelius, the great Stoic emperor, once wrote, our actions may be impeded, but there can be no impeding our intentions or dispositions because we can accommodate and adapt. The mind adapts and converts to its own purposes the obstacle to our acting. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. In other words, by changing our perspective and responding with a calm, rational mindset, we can turn obstacles into opportunities for growth and learning. So, how can we break free from the anti-Stoic habit of reacting emotionally to challenges? Start by practicing the Stoic technique of premeditatio malorum or premeditation of evils. This means anticipating potential obstacles and setbacks ahead of time and mentally rehearsing how you'll respond with calmness and resilience. Next, when faced with a challenge, take a step back and ask yourself, what can I learn from this situation? How can I use this obstacle to become stronger, wiser and more adaptable? Remember, every challenge we face in life is an opportunity to grow and develop our inner resources. By cultivating a resilient, rational mindset, we open ourselves up to a world of possibility and personal transformation. 6. Holding on to anger and resentment Imagine carrying a heavy backpack filled with rocks as you hike up a mountain. With each step, the weight of the rocks pulls you down, sapping your energy and making the journey more difficult. Now imagine that those rocks represent anger, resentment and grudges from past hurts and injustices. By holding on to these negative emotions, we weigh ourselves down and make it harder to move forward on the path of personal growth and happiness. The Stoics recognized the toxic effects of anger and resentment and they developed powerful strategies for letting go of these destructive emotions. Seneca in his essay, On Anger, wrote, No one becomes angry with a stone for striking him or a beam for falling on him. Why then be angry with a man who is moved by the same forces as these? By recognizing that others' harmful actions are often the result of ignorance or misguided beliefs rather than malice, we can find it easier to let go of anger and cultivate compassion. So, how can we break free from the anti-Stoic habit of holding on to anger and resentment? Start by practicing forgiveness, both for others and for ourselves. Recognize that holding on to grudges only harms us, not the person who wronged us. Next, cultivate empathy and understanding for others' perspectives and motivations. By putting ourselves in their shoes, we can find it easier to let go of anger and find common ground. Remember, 
forgiveness and compassion are not signs of weakness, but of strength and wisdom. By letting go of anger and resentment, we free ourselves from the burden of negative emotions and open ourselves up to a world of peace, healing and positive growth. 7. Wasting time on trivial matters In our fast-paced, distraction-filled world, it's easy to get caught up in trivial matters that don't truly matter in the grand scheme of things. We might spend hours scrolling through social media, worrying about what others think of us, or pursuing fleeting pleasures that don't bring us lasting fulfillment. But the Stoics knew that time is our most precious resource, and that by focusing on what truly matters, we can live a life of purpose, meaning, and joy. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, wrote, You could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. This powerful reminder of our own mortality can help us cut through the distractions and focus on what's truly important, our relationships, our personal growth, and our contributions to the world. So how can we break free from the anti-Stoic habit of wasting time on trivial matters? Start by identifying your core values and priorities. Ask yourself, what do I want to be remembered for? What legacy do I want to leave behind? Next, practice mindfulness and intentionality in your daily life. Before engaging in any activity, ask yourself, is this aligned with my values and goals? Is this the best use of my time and energy? Remember, life is short and each moment is a precious gift. By focusing on what truly matters and letting go of trivial distractions, we open ourselves up to a world of meaning, purpose, and lasting fulfillment. 8. Fearing Change and Growth As humans, we are hardwired to seek comfort and familiarity. We might stay in a dead-end job because it's predictable, or avoid trying new things because we're afraid of failure. But the Stoics knew that change and growth are essential parts of a fulfilling life, and that by embracing discomfort and uncertainty, we open ourselves up to a world of possibility and personal transformation. Seneca, in his Letters from a Stoic, wrote, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that things are difficult. By cultivating courage and a willingness to step outside our comfort zones, we can overcome our fears and achieve things we never thought possible. So how can we break free from the anti-Stoic habit of fearing change and growth? Start by reframing discomfort as an opportunity for learning and development. When faced with a challenging situation, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I use this experience to become stronger, wiser and more resilient? Next, practice taking small, calculated risks in your daily life. Try a new hobby, strike up a conversation with a stranger or volunteer for a project outside your usual scope of work. Remember, growth and comfort rarely coexist. By embracing change and stepping outside our comfort zones, we open ourselves up to a world of endless possibilities and personal transformation. 9. Striving for Perfection In our achievement-oriented society, it's easy to fall into the trap of perfectionism. We might spend hours agonizing over a project, trying to make it flawless, or beat ourselves up for making even the smallest mistake. But the Stoics knew that perfection is an illusion, and that by striving for excellence rather than perfection, we can find greater peace, happiness, and success. Epictetus, in his discourses, wrote, Do your best, and let the chips fall where they may. By focusing on the process rather than the outcome, and by accepting that mistakes and setbacks are a natural part of growth, we can free ourselves from the tyranny of perfectionism and find joy in the journey. So, how can we break free from the anti-Stoic habit of striving for perfection? Start by practicing self-compassion and acceptance. 
recognize that you're human and that mistakes and imperfections are a natural part of the learning process. Next, focus on progress rather than perfection. Celebrate your small wins and improvements and use setbacks as opportunities for growth and reflection. Remember, true success lies not in achieving perfection, but in living a life of purpose, meaning and continuous growth. By letting go of perfectionism and embracing the journey, we open ourselves up to a world of joy, fulfillment and endless possibility. 10. Blaming Others When things go wrong in our lives, it's easy to point the finger at others. We might blame our boss for our lack of career progress, our partner for our relationship issues, or society for our personal struggles. But the Stoics knew that by taking responsibility for our own lives and choices, we empower ourselves to create positive change and find greater happiness and success. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, wrote, Look within. Within is the fountain of good, and it will ever bubble up if thou wilt ever dig. By focusing on what we can control, our own thoughts, actions and attitudes, we can overcome external obstacles and create the life we want. So, how can we break free from the anti-Stoic habit of blaming others? Start by practicing self-reflection and personal accountability. When faced with a challenge or setback, ask yourself, what role did I play in this situation? What can I learn from this experience to make better choices in the future? Next, focus on solutions rather than problems. Instead of dwelling on what went wrong or who's to blame, ask yourself, what can I do to improve this situation? What actions can I take to create positive change? Remember, we are the masters of our own fate. By taking responsibility for our lives and choices, we empower ourselves to overcome obstacles, learn from setbacks, and create the life we truly want. As we come to the end of our exploration of the 10 anti-Stoic mindset habits, let's pause to reflect on the transformative power of Stoic philosophy. By recognizing and breaking free from these limiting habits, we open ourselves up to a world of resilience, wisdom and joy. Remember, the path of Stoicism is not about perfection, but about progress. It's about consistently applying these principles and practices in our daily lives and cultivating the inner strength and clarity to face any challenge that comes our way. So as we close this video, I invite you to take one small step today towards embracing a more stoic mindset. Whether it's practicing gratitude, letting go of anger, or focusing on what truly matters, every choice we make has the power to transform our lives. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and growth. Stay committed to the path, my friends, and remember, the power to create a life of purpose, meaning, and fulfillment lies within you. Until next time, stay with the Creator.